Even if you don't follow the championship, the chances are you still know what's going down at Derby County right now. With rumours that they're just two weeks away from liquidation, EFL statements being floated around the news sites, court cases from Wickham and Middlesbrough both preventing takeover bids, and even MPs trying to get involved to fix what's going down at Derby, it's really not a good time to be a Rams fan right now. However, on the field, things are totally different. Despite having a 21 point deduction at the start of the season, they actually find themselves in 23rd, so not even in last place. A lot of this is thanks to their recent run of form. In the last five games, they got four wins and one draw, which is the best in the entire championship. Their squad does look poor on paper, but it is actually full of very good championship level players. People like Tom Lawrence, despite his history, is a really good player for the level. Curtis Davis has been effective for years and years. And then their squad also has young players like Sibley, Bird, Buchanan and Knight, who are all going to have potential to be Premier League level players in the future. So if Derby really can survive this short term pain, they do have a lot of long term strengths. So I'm sure you can see that this would be a really, really interesting and fun career mode. Maybe not one that I'd do myself as a Nottingham Forest fan, However, I think if you did try and impersonate Rooney, try and rebuild the Rams and get them back to the Premier League for the first time since their 11 point season in 2008, then you would have a really good career mode and you'd be set up for a nice long term one too. Of course, you're going to need to try and bring through your youth players, but it's not going to be too difficult because most of this squad is already around 20 years old. Of course, you do have some very, very old players in there, 38 year old Phil Jagielka, 36 year old Curtis Davis. 34-year-old Colin Kazim Richards is your best striker by far, and Richard Stearman, Sam Baldock, Craig Forsyth are all over 30 as well. So you will eventually have to try and replace these guys as they start to retire. However, if you want to keep it fully realistic, what you're going to need to do is spend absolutely zero of your transfer budget. Derby have been in an embargo since around September last year, so it has been very difficult for them to sign any players for a transfer fee, and any players that they do bring in on a free transfer have been limited to just £5,000 per week, which is absolutely not a lot of money for the championship. If you can somehow keep them in the league the first season, their squad isn't that bad so it shouldn't be too difficult and the points deduction isn't modelled, but you could forfeit a couple of games when you're winning or maybe score some own goals so that you lose when you're ahead just to try and simulate this points penalty and make it a bit tougher for yourself. But still, never use your transfer budget, sign very very cheap players and bring through youth. If you do choose to recreate Wayne Rooney as your manager, then of course his links to Manchester United and Everton are both going to give you some fun players on loan and also give you a nice bit of role play if you ever get bored of playing as Derby. If you can somehow successfully rebuild Derby and get to the Premier League, then I'm sure Manchester United would be very interested in having him as manager and he might see himself as the successor to Alex Ferguson. Similarly, if you go to Everton, maybe you can try and recreate the successes of Howard Kendall in the 80s. So now you know a little bit of a background of Derby County, their situation and what you need to do. So let's talk about how to play them realistically. The biggest problem with Derby at the moment, of course, is the financial issues that we mentioned before. They actually need to raise £7 million by the end of the season, otherwise they won't be allowed to participate in any of the EFL football leagues. So that means the championship if they stay up, or League One if they go down. On FIFA, it might not be too difficult to actually raise this 7 million. I think it's something you probably should try and do first season just to keep it a little bit realistic, but you do have some players that are worth quite a lot of money. Biliek is very injury prone. He's done his cruciate ligaments twice now, I believe. He's worth 5 million euros. Max Bird, 3.3, Jason Knight, 3, Josiek, Sibley, around 2.5, and, and same for Buchanan. So if you really want to raise this 7 million euros, 7 million pounds, then it's going to be pretty easy. You just need to sell two or three of your better young players. Derby County, alongside their East Midlands rivals, Leicester City and Nottingham Forest, all have Tier 1 Academies, which is the highest level of youth academy you can have in England. However, if the financial situation does get a bit worse, you can see Derby downgrading and quite a lot of their younger players going to one of these two rival teams. So if you want to try and simulate this realistically on FIFA, maybe have good youth scouts to start off with, the ones you start with, but then after one or two seasons, downgrade these youth scouts that you're getting worse players coming through your youth academy. Wait a couple of seasons and then go back and buy better ones to simulate that the board maybe has taken over and started funding the Youth Academy a bit better again. But really, the financial issues and the Youth Academy are the two most important factors at play with Derby County at the moment. Without the Youth Academy, they probably wouldn't have any chance of staying up this season, and without the financial issues, they would probably be a top half playoffs level team. 
That's not to say that the team is poor all over. As I mentioned earlier, they do have a couple of top level players. The ones you're going to want to keep around are Tom Lawrence. He's got a contract ending at the end of the season and he is on big wages compared to the rest of the squad. However, £10,000 per week isn't that unmanageable on FIFA. Some other very good players on FIFA include Kamil Josiak, who has 90 sprint speed and acceleration. Of course, also plays with Lewandowski, so maybe he can teach someone like Plange a thing or two about finishing. And the final recommendation I have to keep around your squad would be Nathan Byrne, who would be more effective as a wingback in my opinion than as a fullback. But he's got pace to get up and down, stamina, good at dribbling and a really good crosser for the championship. So keep an eye on these three players, make sure they're all in your team. And I think you'll probably be set to finish mid-table at worst, maybe even pushing for the playoffs in your first season. Derby's team is around the 14th best in the league, so despite their financial issues not being simulated in the game, despite the fact that you haven't got the points deduction in game, you still will have a fairly challenging career mode and hopefully a very fun one. Thank you all for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Like the video, subscribe, comment below if you're a Derby fan and you've got anything you want to say, and I'll see you all very soon for another video. Thank you and goodbye.